Hello Aquarius viewers. Um, as most of you know that have been following me for a while, I typically do mid-month and beginning of the month zodiac videos and I'm going to continue to do those. But I've also switched things up a little bit recently and I'm starting to do third party readings and uh, you know soulmate and twin flame readings as well. Maybe financial readings here and there too. So there's going to be some diversity on this channel. Um, just want to let you guys know that you know things are switching up just a little bit here. But anyway, let's get into the reading. So this could be about love, money, uh, new person, old people, family, whatever the cards want to say, you know, whatever the storyline is. Oftentimes it's about love, but we'll see what happens. We'll see what the cards want to say. Stagnation, past life, soul contract, soulmate, overthinking, self-sabotage. home belonging safe space the message i'm getting right away here is that something happened in a past life between you two that's caused this person trauma it's gotten them stuck in their head it's for some it could be a soul contract it could be someone stagnant here either you or your person stagnant because there's a soul contract that you need to end and free yourself from but for others i'm feeling like for like 80% of you, I'd say that this is something about a past life that we're going to look into here. Some kind of past life trauma between you and your person. Like maybe they lost you in a past life and it's affecting them and making them overthink things in this lifetime. I hope that makes sense. Got risk, reward, bold gesture, choosing love over fear. So it's good energy here. Let me straighten these out for you guys a little bit. Reconciliation. Nostalgia. Yes, yeah, someone's wanting to reconcile with you. Someone is nostalgic here. Um, you might go to the same clubs or parties, or maybe they're just maybe they were kind of a hermit, kind of like when they went through like a hermit phase, and now they're starting to go out and be social again. And as they're being social, they're being they're becoming really nostalgic. They might also be going to like the same places you guys used to go, like clubs, restaurants, movie theaters, malls, whatever it might be. Um, I hear like a water park for somebody. There's like a water park that they drive by or that you guys went to that they're um, that they're thinking about that reminds them of you. Cold, guarded, distrusting. Because they're being more social is the message I get and it's making them nostalgic. Yeah, some of them are spying on you because they're not really sure if you're open. Like they think that you might be kind of cold and guarded and distrusting. It's also possible that you went down a dark path after your separation from this person, so they're not really sure if you're, like, just partying, living your best life, or if you're open to them still. Like, they feel like maybe you changed, and maybe you're not really um, feeling like that, feeling it like you were before. Publicity, social media. Yeah, some of them are kind of watching you on social media here, trying to see if they should make a move. They're choosing their words wisely. They're planning the approach. They do want to make a move because they are feeling nostalgic about this. They want this passion and this romance back. This could be a gothic couple for some. It feels like this person had a chance to, they were thinking about taking this commitment to a higher level. So this could be someone that was thinking about marrying you or thinking about um, like moving in together, like starting a whole, like having a house or like a family or some kind of home together here. Or this could be just someone that like feels at home with you. I just get the sense that someone was, was considering taking the next step like making the relationship official or, um, you know, moving in together, you know, coming home to you, this kind of energy, but they started overthinking things. They started over overthinking, overanalyzing. They got scared. Um, I feel like this could also be, I feel like this is also past life energy. Like they got scared, but I think that they got scared because of something that happened in a past life. Because it almost seems like someone here was... It could be some it could be some mental illness involved as well, but it seems like someone here was was thinking about taking this relationship with you to the next level, asking you out, making it official, moving in, starting a family, starting a home, uh, looking at houses together, and someone got in their head, and now they realize that they shouldn't. They hesitated when they shouldn't have hesitated. It was like this portal was open. It was time to take a leap of faith forward, and they hesitated and they kind of overthought things and sabotaged it just a little bit. And now they're realizing that they have to choose a path. And they're choosing love over fear. They realize that they have to choose between love and fear. And many of them are choosing love over fear. 
many of them are realizing that there is a risk here, but it's worth it. And they're wanting reconciliation because they are feeling nostalgic. I feel like they had to learn some harsh lessons on their own. Many of them kind of went through like a hermit mode where they um, were overthinking things a little bit and kind of just had to learn the hard way on their own. But they're, they're going out and they're being more social lately. So they're feeling nostalgic for you and they're wanting to talk to you. They're wanting to, to channel this passion and romance in a positive way. But they're spying on you and they think that you might not be open anymore. That maybe you've moved on or maybe you're just, you know, maybe you wouldn't give them that chance. Like maybe they wanted to propose or look at houses and maybe they're, maybe, maybe you guys are still together. But there was something, some kind of commitment that you guys, that you guys were meant to have. Like they were about to propose or about to look at houses with you, but they suddenly kind of retreated and got distant like maybe you guys didn't even break up or maybe you got on a break and you went got back together or something like that and now they're kind of thinking again like oh I actually do want to look at houses with them or I do want to marry I do want to marry them after all and you're kind of thinking like 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 they, they don't know if they have that chance now they think that maybe they missed their opportunity like maybe you wouldn't accept this marriage proposal because they hesitated when they they should have you know gone ahead and proposed or maybe like you guys were supposed to look at houses together and like you it didn't happen but now they're thinking like oh wait I do want to look at houses with them but maybe they're thinking that like you're um you know you found your own house or like you're you're um you maybe maybe you wouldn't be willing to take that leap of faith with them because they didn't take that leap of faith for you when they had the chance but they're wanting reconciliation they're feeling nostalgic they're being more social they want that passion and romance back they're choosing their words wisely, though, because they know if they say or do the wrong thing, it could backfire on them. There's something about a past life here. I'm going to have to use tarot cards for this, actually, because this is what they want you to know about a past life. There's something about a past life. Hermit. could have been a monk or a nun or like a shaman or someone that went on a spiritual path on their own eight of swords victim mentality eight of swords traditionally it's like this person that has all these swords around them they have an opening right in front of them to their castle their home their abundance and they don't see it because they're so focused on the swords it's like self-imprisonment kind of energy here and they had to, they kind of isolated for a little bit. And now they're coming forward with the Knight of Cups. So they're, they, they, um, they're getting out of the Eight of Swords energy and coming forward with this Knight of Cups energy. Show me what's going on with the past life though. I want to see what's up with the past life. What's up with the past life? I actually want to pull, I'm going to use my past life cards actually. I haven't used them in years, but I'm going to use them I think. Even though I cannot stand Doreen Virtue. <laughs> What's up with the past life? Because there's something about a past life here that you need to know about. Because I feel like this person got their heart broken by you in a past life. Like you either left them or cheated on them or like you might have died. There might have been like famine or poverty or war or some kind of traumatic experiences involving you. Like maybe you died or something or maybe the relationship was toxic in this past life. But this life it's supposed to be... Maybe this relationship was toxic in your past lives. Like maybe... um within the last hundred years, you guys were together, but it was toxic and it didn't go anywhere. Could be like a twin flame relationship for some, but now, now I feel like they're, um, like they're wanting to, uh, to make things right. Like this lifetime was supposed to be your chance to make things right, but they're repeating old patterns from those past lives. Like they're making it toxic when it doesn't need to be. You know what I mean? Like the relationship wasn't meant to be toxic, but it's kind of becoming toxic almost because they're holding on to old soul contracts that need to be broken and, and like past life patterns and whatnot. So let's see what's up with the past life. Ships. Could have been a sailor, a pirate. Communal living. Some of you are witches and you were burned at a stake in your past lives.
some of you, and this is just for a few of you, because there kind of, there's going to be different stories here. You know what I mean? It's, it's specific. So I'm going to try to get a few different stories and you can, you know, kind of see what one resonates for you. I probably can't get everyone's, but you know, because there's going to be, it, it's going to be different for each person. But the gist of it is that there was a major loss here. Like either you died or you, you left them or the relationship was just toxic and it fell apart. And so now, you know, you guys have the chance to do it right this lifetime. You have the chance to really be together and make it right this lifetime and they're, they're afraid of taking that leap of faith because they have those past life memories ingrained in them of how much that broke their heart when you died or when you left or when the relationship crumbled, when it became toxic. And it's almost like, like I said, it was kind of toxic in the past life for some of you, for a few of you, there's different stories here, but for a few of you, the past life relationship was actually very toxic. So now, even though they have this chance with you, it's like they can't stop bringing that old toxicity into this relationship. Does that make sense? It could be current life toxicity that they're bringing in as well, like old baggage they're bringing in. But for a lot of you, I feel like it's just old, um, you know, just past life toxicity where it's like they're kind of, like, like they're repeating old patterns. Like maybe you guys argued a lot in your past lives or they, they gaslit you, you gaslit them, or there was like competition. And now it's like they're making this relationship that's meant to, to start off fresh and be pure and good this lifetime. They're bringing those old toxic patterns in because it's almost like they're, they're afraid to take this leap of faith or they're not understanding that this is a different lifetime. So they need to end these soul contracts for some because they're repeating past life soul contracts between you two. Um, and I feel like, I feel like a lot of them like were about to propose or they were about to ask you to move in or they were about to ask you to, um, you know, be official with them. And then they did like a 180 where they got distant. Some of them might've asked you for space or even took a break from that, from the relationship or something, or they kind of just, they kind of got off in their head. And it's like, because of it was past life trauma, I think partially is part of it is part of it. That was, that was triggered. Some of you, some of you sailed off. You're, you're like an adventurer and you sailed off to go, um, maybe be like a priestess or something or like, you know, some kind of communal living and you ended up being killed. So it's like almost like this, like maybe you left this person and you're like, you know what? I have to go. I have to go. Um, maybe you have to, had to go serve in the military. You had to go, you had to go serve. I'm, I'm saying service. Like you had to go, like, this is one story. I'm going to tell a few, but like I said, I can't get to all of them, but if you want your own story, like if you want to know, if you want, you know, a private reading, just send me an email you know, if your story's not already on here and you want like a more in-depth reading, you want me to go more in-depth into these energies, past life, current life, whatever you want to know, just send me an email. My email is dragonenchantress at AOL.com. Um, for the spelling, you can just check the description box because my email is posted right below in the description box below this video. Any donations are appreciated. They really add up quickly. And my donation links are also below this video. Please subscribe if it resonates. Please share. Maybe this will resonate for someone you're friends with. I'm getting that this will resonate for someone that you're close. Anne, Annie, Anna. Some of you know someone named Anna that this is for. Sarah. James. Annie, Sarah, James. There might be others as well, but those are the three names that are coming through. Penelope? Is there a Penelope? That's a really rare name. Okay. I don't know. Anyway, some of you, it's like you went off. Like maybe you, you plan to get back with this person later. Like you went on this ship and you're like, I have to go serve for a couple of years. I have to go serve the military or I have to go, um, my, my, maybe like maybe your, your home, your home or your, your people needed you for some reason. It was like a very noble pursuit is what I feel here. And you're like, I have to go help these people or I have to go help my, my hometown or I have to go, um, practice I have to practice I have to study to become a high priest or a high priestess could be like a some kind of service some kind of study here but you ended up being killed or being burnt at the stake being persecuted and shut out so it was kind of like this person was like expecting you to come back to them in a couple years like ex or expecting to meet up with you maybe you guys had to escape some kind of war or famine and they left first like you left first and um, to go to go clean things up or prepare for them or something like that. And they were supposed to come meet you later. And then they found out that you died. 
you know, like you things did not go as planned in that lifetime and it was heartbreaking for them. Let's get another story. Yeah, wars and battles, forgiveness, health. Hmm. The arts, okay. High priest or high priestess? Yeah, some of you are a high priest or high priestess. Father. Okay, what are you trying to say? Some of you had to go take care of your father's health. And someone needs forgiveness here because they left and they wish that they would have stayed because there's some kind of war or battle here. Someone might have abandoned someone else during a war or battle. Um to pursue the arts, to pursue this, 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 it's a very noble pursuit or possibly to, to focus on, um, the health of a father figure here. Um, and they're asking, someone's asking for forgiveness. Like maybe you or they feel guilt because they abandoned you. There could be that as well. Or they feel like you're going to abandon them again. There's a fear of being, of loss here. Let's get one more storyline here. And then, like I said, if you want a private reading, just email me, but let's get one more storyline here. I hear the name Jerry for this one. Jerry, Rebecca. Male, female, trust and faith. Galactic. Spouse. This could be like a divine couple. Finances. Could be a Native American past life for the, for this person, for these these few people. Could have been, hmm. Finances, spouse. Take it as it resonates too. If you get something specific, I'm getting something here. Like let me let me look more into this. Hold on. Can we Roman past life, love life, yeah, love life. What about it? Knighthood could have been a knight because I'm getting for most of these stories, I'm getting that there was some kind of noble pursuit where either they left you or you left them. I feel like most of you left them. A lot of you left to become a knight or a high priestess or a medicine. Okay, so Native American makes sense now because you have medicine man or woman. So some of them left you because they um wanted to study like they wanted to pursue shamanism like they had to they kind of um okay so another story i'm getting that some of them might have had they might have gone back so with, with the first spread that we saw here some of them went back to their village uh could be via ship some of them went back to their village to rebuild or to help their people maybe to study shamanism and to take a place as like a leader maybe maybe their shaman was i don't know how that would work i, I don't mean i don't know i don't like, I'm partially familiar with Native American beliefs, but I don't fully know how that would have worked, how that would play out. But it's almost like the village need them. The village needed them. Like, maybe the village was, maybe it was like a Native American village for some that was attacked. Could be war, battle. Could be white settlers or something that attacked. And um, someone might have gone back to their village to help their people. Maybe they were like a shaman or something. And they, some, there's just this energy. There's a few different stories here. But there's, we have shaman, we have, um, or we have medicine man, woman, we have knighthood. We also have high priestess. So this could be male or female, either you left them or, or they left you. But the overall energy I get, there's different variations of this story, but the overall energy I get is that someone either went home to, to study, to become like a high priestess or to become a medicine man or woman, like their people needed them, or they were like in the military like becoming a knight, you know, like serving their country. They might have gotten called off to war. Maybe they went to war like on a ship like overseas and um, they were expected to come home, but they didn't come home because why didn't they come home? Let's see. Let's look into that. But there's a few different stories here. You know, for some, it was like Greek Roman era, possibly war in the Greek Roman era where they, they someone was killed in battle. Someone went off to, to become a knight and they ended up getting killed in battle. Someone, um, 
went off to become a shaman or to maybe they already were a shaman but they had to go back and focus on their village and you guys were supposed to be together at a later date but they were killed by white settlers um someone was a high priestess so there's three different stories here someone was a high priestess and they went back to their their homeland their or, or they went back someplace to to fo there's maybe like to study or something i don't know they went somewhere they went somewhere away from their person and they were supposed to be with them at a later date um and i'm feeling like like they got killed for being a witch is what i feel happened like there's basically this energy that somebody left somebody else and they plan to reunite. It might have been a while. It might have been like we need like a year, two years to reunite. Like they might have, it might have been like something really had to be rebuilt or they really, someone had to really focus or study something for a while. Um, or even get finances in order for some of you. You know, some of you might have dealt with poverty. But um, I'm getting here that like they, you know, the plan was for someone to go somewhere else and rebuild or study or, you know, be a knight or a shaman or a priestess or whatever it was, some kind of noble pursuit that would be of service to other people. But then this person got this, this knight or this shaman or this priestess ended up getting killed instead, either by white settlers, by war, famine, or... Um, being burnt at the stake for being a witch. What else do we need to know about this? Just really quick. Authority figures. Farm. Egypt. Okay. Yeah, there could have been a famine in Egypt for some of you. For someone here also, there was famine in Egypt. And um, that's why someone else had to leave. Because there was famine. Orphan. Yeah, someone was left an orphan. Food and hunger. See it? See it? Food and hunger. Angels. Someone was an orphan in a past life and also in poverty in the past in a past life. And they're repeating those cycles this lifetime, those karmic cycles of feeling like they don't have a family, feeling alone, self-sabotage, um, holding on very tightly to food out of fear of poverty. Maybe someone starved in a past life. Maybe they were left orphaned after like a war or something like that and they ended up starving. Lots of past life trauma. So the angel, they're trying to heal you guys from this, you know, so that you're not stuck in this energy forever. Um, I hope this makes sense. And like I said, if you want a private, I know there's, there's a few different stories here. So take what, take what resonates with you. You know what I mean? There, there's variations of this story, but it's all the same energy where someone left and they were meant to, this couple was meant to meet again at a later date, be it a month or five years later, they were meant to meet back up, but, the, but one of them was killed. And this, the, this trauma is, is pouring in to this current relationship because they're afraid of losing you. So when they started thinking about making it official or saying I love you or proposing or moving in, it brought up all these fears and past life trauma. Like they remember what it was like to go through poverty, to go through um, separation, to, to find out you died. Some of them did not see you die, but they found out like they got mail, like they got news overseas because maybe like you guys were writing each other back and forth because you were somewhere else like rebuilding your community and they got news from like a friend of yours or something that you had died. So it was very devastating for them, especially because they, they couldn't be there with you. Some of them might have had financial issues where they could not have traveled with you. So you went alone. So it's very traumatic for a lot of them. Um, so, so that, so yeah, and as they commit to you, that past life trauma comes up. So some of you guys do need to end old soul contracts and do uncrossing work and cleanse this energy out and kind of heal and help your person heal from this past life trauma. Um, anyway, I hope that makes sense. I hope that resonates. Please subscribe if it resonates. Please share this video and send me an email if you'd like a private reading. Thank you.